One, two. Alhamdulillah. How you doing? What's that? Memorize and outgrow those cigarettes, young lady. Until you find what you can do, how frequently, without harm. My mom died with a tube in her throat, young lady. Oh, no. Yeah, those Salem menthol cigarettes. Likewise, these two women in Texas told me, check my salt balance. They said men need an injection, but women can take a pill to readjust their salt balance. My doctor gave me some blood pressure medicine. A lot of this fluid came out of me. I think the young Obama girl, young Obama girl has a similar physiology that retains the fluid. And Michelle's been working with her on that. Wow. Yeah, it's a, a fact of nature. It's nothing to do with our personal habits so much as our physiology we're born with. But we can work with that and there's all sorts of medical stuff now. So, don't settle for those cigarettes. Give yourself what you deserve. Come on, Mecca. Okay. Hi, who? Perfect, go in Mecca, but the lights went red on you, Mecca. Oh, I hope so, but some con artists come in here. Well, he can get away with it. I'll put a bunch of... As long as it doesn't make a noise, it's okay. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Mecca didn't like that little dog, huh? No, actually, Mecca ignored the little dog. Mecca sati sati satiated with all the interaction. We've been out all day. Do you have the gray tub still today? You guys win the door prize. Uh, yeah, you and the Russell Southeast door are the only two doors with the clean tubs. Yeah, you still are. I'm sorry, come here, Mecca. Can you guys play through? It's going to take me a couple of seconds to do this. Come here, Mecca. Good, Mecca. Good, Mecca. Like yeah, it's kind of the Afghan sense of distance. This is how big a turf we should have instead of being packed in like sardines, you know. We deserve a cave that's big enough for us. Yes, Yahweh. Yes, Jehovah. Yes, the great spirit. of, Yes, Brahma, the creator of God. Yes, the great Tao. Yes, who or why does not need any, including not needing to not need, and is therefore ready. Allah Akbar. Uh, 
God is greater. Uh, Yahweh is greater. Give you a great blessing. Pay, pay your up. Pay. Pay your up. Yeah. Good. <laughs> pay our bills. Pay our up. Are you educating the bill? Yeah, likewise. Their, their response is pay your bills. <laughs> pay your up. <laughs> You know all this stuff. Have you paid? <laughs> well, I'm not charging. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm giving it away. Maybe C-SPAN will do a show with me and we can then work our way outwards. that office they said we can't recommend any public relations firms to you because it's a political office so I looked on the internet I picked one with a name I like and they said Tuesday the guy will be back and that was Thursday I called so that's kind of how much time it takes if you're going to be on Saturday Night Live from Thursday to Tuesday probably right, right. Uh. Show your tame, Mecca. You got to get an invitation, like you know, a hand or a voice or something. Otherwise, you got to give the lady her space. Mecca smells popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Well, no matter what we smell, even if it's a police dog, I don't know if we can let the dog go right up the close. You got to six feet, then we can follow him till something else happens. But we can Fourth of July then nice as he was and as nice as his dog was he's letting his dog go up touch the baby carriage with his nose and my Muslim brothers are just you know they would yeah well Mecca got water today and I had coffee and a staffer brought us a candy bar and sorry there's some Thanks. See you later, the next one. <laughs> See us later, Mecca. Did I miss a beat here? Is that illuminated or? Yeah, the light is out in this one here.
Cindy, can I help you? Yeah, Cindy, this is Bill or Mohammed calling back. Are the elevators your jurisdiction? What's the matter with the elevators, sir? The um, button, the uh, button on the left-hand side of the southwest, no, southeast door of the Dirksen building, the south door on the Dirksen building, there's an elevator one, two, three elevators, and there's two buttons, and the one on the left, when you push it to go up, the uh, light doesn't show up in a ring around the up arrow. If you walk over and look at the other button on the right-hand side of the elevator bank, you see that light is illuminated around the up arrow, so you know you push the button successfully. But okay, oh, okay, I'll let them know. Thanks, Cindy. Uh-huh. A perfect heel, Mecca. Hello, sisters of the world, unite. <clears throat> we got to go through all of our stuff. Here's Bernard Sanders, independent. Yep, it looks like who's still here. Uh, the Green Mountain Boys. No one should be able to carry more than a backpack full of marijuana on them at any one time. Keep it out of the Sealand vans and the cellophane wrappers. Make it more like a cottage industry with lots of independent distributors traveling is educational. To U.S. D.A. Wayne and Assane stations. I used to work under the table smuggling drugs across the border, but now, thanks to the new U.S. law, I've joined the United States Postal Service and I'm a certified independent distributor. I can carry up to a backpack full of marijuana on me at any one time and travel. You bet the travel lanes will be safer with all the drug dealers traveling on them. They're not going to let anything happen. Hi. Is there room to go in now? They just finished. They just finished. Wow. So maybe we can go in then and watch them leave. This is a service animal. I have the paperwork. Hi, or we can wait out here, I guess, but I always like to take a look in and get the ambience of the room and the feel of the... Hi, good man. Right here, maybe, by the door. Oh, this is a service animal? I have paperwork? Okay, thanks. I went home and got it, actually. <laughs> Press only is here, or was here. Homeland... Security, you get glass beads, and the next thing you know, Manhattan's owned by the Dutch instead of the Indians. We got all these glass screens in our hands. <laughs> Apple calls it glass. So immediately we find out about homeland and security so we don't lose Manhattan a second time. Intentionally planned or what? Okay, certainly, you're the one trying to move. Excuse us. Mecca, let's stand by the door, like we promised, but let's get some ambience. Sit. Good. You don't want to sit now? It's too exciting? Good.
Well, can you get what else instead? The redundancy, man. There should be more than one way to get anything. Did you have a good meeting? Did you find out about what you wanted to know? I see what you're doing. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing. Stand up, Mecca. Up. Oklahoma Panhandle wide borders. 36 mile wide border quarters. How do you think? Idea? DEA. USPS and DEA and Vermont and Maine and probably Minnesota and Montana and Washington, California, Arizona. Larry Flint knows a lot about human trafficking and he would be happy to testify to the committee. Look at that, you put tape over the wires to make it safe for the uh, people. I don't know about that, it makes it tough to clean the table, but uh, that's not so bad, that worked. So, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Manhattan Indian logo. The glass beads are the cell phones. And the solution is the Morse code civil defense application from NASA and FEMA so you can use your phone without having to look at it. Oh. Can we move him? Yeah, you want to go through here with your equipment? I want to bring some equipment okay. in. Oh, okay, well this... I'm going to go that way. Okay, then we'll migrate this way, thanks. I promised him I'd just hang out by the door and absorb some ambience. Why the glass beads were valued above their market value and so the Manhattan Indians signed documents they didn't understand the licensing agreement they lost their island what can we do renegotiate uh, tribal limited liability companies for indigenous people worldwide does your district have an LLC yet would the Syrian tribes like LLCs, could FEMA work with Syrians and uh, develop their evacuation skills? Could we sponsor le legislation for a evacuation of anyone who wants to leave Syria to a UN camp? Russian Aerofloat, U.S. planes, Turkish airlines fly people out of Syria. Get FEMA to consult so that if anything ever happens here, we know how to get everybody out of town quickly. Homeland Security. An open society requires the ability to evacuate large numbers of people quickly. 
thank you for your consideration. You. You're welcome. That woman knows how to measure risk, was not willing to risk bumping you with her bag. Good, 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 good. Check your salt balance on your fluid retention so that you can... And get a letter from your doctor because obesity is a disability and it'll help protect your job with a letter from your doctor. That's how I got my dog as a disability animal to help my... Well, I trained the dog to ride the bicycle and run beside it. Should I walk along with you guys? I'm such a die hard. I'm willing to hang out with the, the last and the least. Those guys all had the suits and they were blocked into that pay scale and dress for success track. These guys are technicians and staffers. Uh, maybe a senator. The Second Amendment right to bear technology, no matter how big or cumbersome or robotic it might be. As long as you have a qualified human that's signed for this robot, why, how can we possibly keep your camera out of here? Yeah, you used to have to look at all the dials and stuff. Now you have to know how to understand the robot. It's a little different, but man, they're training us. I think I'm getting it. Yeah, we got to pack the robot up and put it in the van too, but eventually they're going to have it driving and sitting in the passenger seat, I think. The cars already drive themselves. Oklahoma panhandle wide borders, 36 miles, all robotic transportation, no one sneaking across. All the traffic going east and west along the border corridor. You lose your lease if you let anyone sneak across your land inside the border there. Well, thank you so much. Oh, there's a senator. Good, good. Hi. Good. Perfect. Understand, Mecca. Now heal. That's it. Lead the way, Mecca. Good. Good. Hi there. How are you? I'm well. Oh, great. Well, glad to hear it. Good to have independence and teamwork there, making two kinds of decisions. So it was worth coming back. It certainly was. And one more time here, because even the least of us, the roadies, are only ones left now. Okay, there's a robot screen. Wow. I'm on my way to Senator Mulkowski's office to show a preview. Seven o'clock tomorrow, the Dirksen, man. Pipe in Beach Boys. Okay, I guess we can walk around a little bit because everyone's left. Let's check out the front mecca.
Senator Paul was here. Senator Baldwin. Senator Enzi. Senator Tester. Senator Port Portman. Senator Landrill, Senator Levin, Senator Heitkamp, Senator Carper, Chairman, Non-Indigenous Species, Senator Chisa, Senator Coburn, Senator Bagich from Alaska. Talk about borders and human traffic. Some person cells have metal bars and some have picket fences. Huh. Wow, Senator McCaskill. Senator Pryor was in the Foreign Relations Committee, I think, with Senator Kerry's testimony and Senator Iote. Yeah, you know how to play with these guys, don't you, Mecca? They're fun. Hear Bill Clinton playing the sax? That's what Hillary should get a little of. Then the guitar should answer it and back and forth. Can you play that again? I, certainly, you're the one trying to move. Excuse us, please. This is a public right of way. There's the guitar. Hey, who? Hey, I heard Mecca was up here. Yeah. Hi, honey. How you doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. You oh, are sweetie. You looking so pretty. Come on. How you been? Uh, alhamdulillah, hallelujah, except for the American Legion, unfortunately. Well, I heard about that, but trust me, that's getting fixed. Good. All right, and I, I haven't been there in a while myself. I apologize that that happened, but... Yeah, it seemed like a new crew or something. Yeah, it's a new crew that's got their head up there. So. I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. I'm, uh, my goal is that he can repent and be forgiven by God without the need to confess. It seems endemic to this three times that week, black authoritarian figures hit me in the, almost the same way. After him, the next day, Thursday, at the hospital, I went to call the taxi after seeing my doctor. And this young black security guy, you're not going to the phone. And he puts his hand to hang it up when I push by him. And I said, let me speak to your supervisor before I push by him. Right. I am the supervisor. <laughs> it's a lie. He wasn't. There was a woman more like you that's reasonable, and right. she showed up later. Well, that and then Saturday, the USCP did the same thing. A sergeant black in the same disorder as the American Legion guy. They're trying to close up in here. Why don't we go out in the hallway, hon? I don't know. I don't mind them hearing. They're oh, pretty no, cool no, dudes. I don't mind them hearing either. I'm just saying, let's get out of their way. Yeah, we're not in their way. They can overhear. They're, well, uh, yeah. Let's take Nika in the hallway so that we don't get her toes ran over. No, these are all phony, weak excuses you can say for some valid reason, like I order you because I think this is not something that, you know, some reason, but those are all... Why are you being so fussy today? 
because uh, chains of command that are insensitive and manipulative are our biggest problem. That's why the Fort Hood shooting happened. That guy asked for a dishonorable discharge in a non-combat zone, and they wouldn't give it. Here, he's got to get this rope going. Huh? Right, and they wouldn't give it to him. A dishonorable discharge in a non-combat zone. He was a psychiatrist. He was doing post-stress syndrome analysis right. of returning. But you're not going to get any of that taken care of tonight, so why don't we give them room to move out? The, uh, because we've been here this long and I've worked with bands long enough to know they are skillful enough to have plenty of room for us to be able to play musical chairs with them and they can get so their work done. how long do you feel the need to stay? Because they've asked me to ask you politely to come on up so they can work more quickly and not have to work around you. Well, that starts to change the complexion of it. You're sure these guys have asked you to ask me to leave? The, the Senate committee has asked. Okay, now that starts to be a reasonable, uh, well, justifiable reason in my mind, rather than so they don't roll over toes or so that this or that, whatever the other... Now that's strictly an observation of yeah. my part. Yeah. I would like Mecca not to get hurt by them pulling the ropes up and moving the Yeah, yeah, and I can handle that, but if the, the committee has asked for me to leave, then I need to leave. Yeah. But you didn't say that until now. I would start there. <laughs> and avoid the rest. Oh, they they said they had already asked, so that's what the premise that I was. Yeah, asking. well, I, they haven't asked. Uh, I asked them for permission to come in, and I said I'd stay by the door, and I did until everyone had left. So they don't always give the accurate sight either. But these chains of command, that's what I was talking to your buddy about earlier, insensitive chains of so, command. What's the issue? What's the issue Nothing. We're, we're moving out. Oh. Okay. It smells like Mecca cut gas is what it smells like. Woo. Well, if it wasn't her, at least you had a dog to blame it on. Um, well, it wasn't me, but I have had some gas Ooh, issues. Sorry about that. Yeah, good. Yeah, so uh, three times in one week, the same kind of personality disorder surfaced on black uh, authoritarian figures, and I point out to them that my doctor's a black woman, and they disrespect her by not honoring the letter that she wrote under the American with Disabilities Act so I could have my service animal. Right. Well, that, I don't think it was a... I can only speak from my own experience, and I don't think it was a black issue there. I think it was just a very unknowledgeable issue because they were having a, an issue with other dogs that weren't service dogs at the time. And I the bartender, uh, when I showed him, he changed his mind. The guy upstairs didn't change his mind. When I walked into the meeting, instead of saying, did you go home and get the letter from your doctor so I can let you in? He said, I told you you can't come in. He wasn't looking for any reason to let me in. Right. And then after I showed him the letter from my doctor and after I showed him my ID that he asked for to prove that I was the person that the letter referred to, he still wouldn't let me in. And we get down the stairs, for up there, the stairs, and he says, hit the door, hit the door. I say, look, we've proven I'm a member here. If you'll ask me politely... Did you get his name? No. He was sitting at the front of the room. He had to be somebody important. He wasn't in the audience. What did he look like? Because that would be helpful for me to know who he was. He was as big as our buddy here, but he was black. Yeah. Maybe a little taller. Well, that's pretty broad. <laughs> yeah, and it happened at the hospital, and it happened at the Underground Visitor Center, and it's, a dis it's why we have black-on-black -black crime. It's hurting the black community that these guys pick up some mentality of, I'm going to say no, no matter what it takes. Don't confuse me with the facts. My mind's made up. And maybe it's because they want to protect their children from drug dealers in the ghetto, and so they're going to say no to the kid, no matter what excuse the kid comes up with. My teacher said it's a field trip. Whatever it is, it's going to be no. It's going to be no. And it disrespects the law, and it hurts the entire black community. And that's the reason I bring it up, not to be racist, right. but to try to get them to realize they've got something going in their families that's being passed on to generation to generation. Sure. Well, I'm quite certain you won't run into the issue again yeah. at the American League. Um, well, in the sense that... 
everyone, everyone deserves to be welcomed as long as they comply with the law. That's good to hear in the sense that it makes me feel like that guy is going to be punished or intimidated or uh, reprimanded. Uh, I worry, I would prefer to hear, would you like to meet with that guy after we've spoken with him so that you and he can have a face-to-face -face meeting and try to resolve this thing to your satisfaction and his? Then I'd say, that sounds good to me. Well, I'll have to let your commander of the Sons of the American Legion handle right. that because right. I'm no longer the commander there. Oh, so okay, Vince Nardielli. Mr. Nardelli is... Nardelli. Nardelli. Mick Nardelli. Mick Nardelli. I, I have his email. I spoke with him on the phone. And uh, now that you've taken this time out to... I, I wouldn't have thought of this without your help. That I'll call and ask if I can have a meeting with this guy. Not to say, I won and you lost. <laughs> but to say, man... Are we on the same page now? Are we going to be able to work together? Do you understand? I'm not trying to ruin your life. I'm trying to... Well, I don't think... Th I think that's all been cleared up. I think he just didn't understand anything about service dogs, as best I can tell. But, yeah. So but he got, he got uh, personal about it and defiant and into this hit the door, hit the door. Uh, as we get down, I'm pushing you out of this place. Hit the door. And... Um, I said, look, we've, we've, we've proven to each other that I'm a member here, a son of, and the dog's the only problem, right? Uh, so if you'll say, please leave like you would to a member and show some respect to me, I will leave. Right. He w Hit the door. Hit the door. It's like... Well, let Nick know that you would like to meet with him. Here's the weirdest part. After about two-thirds of the way through on his hit the door thing... He goes out the door, leaves me inside. He's still saying, hit the door, looking at me. Then he comes back in, and right before this other guy comes up and says, will you please leave? And I said, this guy represents the American Legion. I'm leaving. And he looks right in my eye, and he says, you, you took it like a real man tonight. And that's it, and he's gone. So I don't know where he's coming from. Is that his way of testing my manhood? You took it like a real man. He just said it really quickly, like under his breath. So, um, then someone walked by later and said, it's your iPad. I said, oh, maybe people change their behavior because they think, oh, I'm going to make it come back again by being bad. Anything I got to do to make it come back again. Uh, well, I'm sorry that that incident happened. But maybe I, I should establish a way that people know that it will come back without them having to be bad to have it come back. Because <laughs> I could be tempting them. Yeah, and I'm sorry too. At the time, it upset me. And then the Naval Yard shootings only confirmed that fear that I have that's happened before. Uh, after these three incidents, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Monday I go to a dog grooming appointment for this guy at 9 a.m. You guys coming this way? Yep. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we're four blocks from the Navy Yard. It's where the grooming appointment is, and all these cops are around. She likes the pool floor, doesn't she? Mecca, come on, honey. Good, Mecca. And then the Nigerian, the Nairobi, Kenya people, after they wouldn't let me in the visitor center, they attacked the upscale mall. And what is more like an upscale mall than the underground visitor center? And I've been on the internet for 13 years talking to people. Navy helicopter went down with five guys on it in Bahrain. And the hat check lady said, the business will pick up when it starts to rain. I have been watching this kind of stuff happen for so long that I just feel like i got to warn the guy at the American Legion, the sergeant at the Underground Visitor Center, the guard at the hospital, that you're making an international incident out of this. And the FBI, too. They haven't released the autopsy report for the guy they shot in the top of the head in Florida while they were questioning him. The Boston bomber suspect in Florida. Oh, yeah. yeah, he got shot in the top of the head while the FBI was uh, interrogating him. All right, down with him. So it's pretty difficult to. Um, Thanks, Hutch. No problem. Uh, that's what the mafia says. No problem, because they don't want one. Uh, yeah, as our FBI, it probably has their uh, in crowd that control. Hi, who? Uh, one, good. 
Yeah, and it's tough to recruit people to work with the FBI and call in information about the Navy Yard. Uh, what is it? What do we do? I don't like to call him a shooter. It's too cool a word, you know, a courage. I want to go out as a shooter. No, you should call him something like response inventory deficit individual or uh, lack of self-control a person who broke down the mentally breaking down person he, he had a, a meltdown, a meltdown. Sure. even meltdowns kind of dramatic if you say mentally uh, something you make it sound medical and clinical enough nobody wants to be that then they they won't aspire to to go out in a blaze of glory well i don't there's there are occasions, I think, when, I, you know, the gang shootings, that's an aspiration. But yeah. I think that someone that's having a mental breakdown, they, you, you just, I, I like to believe that there's no one, if they were in their right mind, yeah. would never aspire to do that. Right. Unless they're a terrorist or something and they think that they're going to, you know, see Allah and have 76 virgins or yeah. something. Yeah. But uh, he definitely... You know, had some issues going on. It's you can't you can't take twelve random people out and you know for absolutely no reason and not have. He shot one in the hand, hand in the head. One woman got shot in the hand. I'm always checking my hand when I end my videos. It made me suspicious. Hopefully, it's only a coincidence. And as far as being going out in the he blaze of glory, the, the, the Quran says that only God knows the hour of our death. So you don't go to paradise if you intentionally kill yourself. You have to do everything you can to try to stay alive until the last moment. Now, if you wire this thing so that when your heart stops, the explosives go off, then you'll go to heaven. But if you wire it so you push the button and blow yourself up, you go to hell. Because only God knows the hour of our death. So the, the funny part is, I never got, my heart never stopped. I didn't go off. They took me alive. <laughs> See, they have to wire themselves. So only when their heart goes off for other reasons, they took a bullet, they died of old age, then they blow up. But if they push the button to blow themselves up, they go to hell. And the funny part is, we took him alive. He never got a chance to blow himself up. Hmm. Well, or we shot him and wounded him and took him down. We kept his heart going. I we kept his that. heart going so he didn't blow up. Cool. Yeah, and if we make enough thing on a Saturday Night Live or get a C-SPAN interview about keeping for yourself from going to hell by blowing yourself up, then people, they'd agree. That's why they like me at Mosque. Very interesting. I hadn't, uh, I didn't realize that that was how it worked. Yeah, only God knows the hour of our death. That is in the Quran. So if you take your own life, that's suicide, they call it suicide yeah. bombing, and you go to hell. Well, but if that's you. That's certainly you know, not what they have a desire to do. Right, right. They're rational to that degree. And we shouldn't use the word terrorist either because that is uh, only a complaint. Whatever word we use to describe them should be the requested remedy of what we, like the response deficit disordered person didn't right. know what to do. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Well, well it's good to see you again. And yeah. I give Thanks. Mick a call. Okay. Or, you know, send him an email. Right. And, um, and he can let you know if, but it, and he can tell you, because I know he sent out a, a note, and I'm sure that it's all been cleared up, but if there's any anything else that he needs to report oh, to yeah, I need to meet with the guy face-to-face -face and the dog, and not to lord it over him, but to... I don't know, maybe I could ask if I could go visit a... What school should I visit in Southeast to meet the underprivileged kids so they could meet my dogs make him feel good about me wanting to take the dog to do good yeah. well I, I think he this he made a made a mistake at the time yeah and there was another issue going on with dogs and he thought it meant all dogs and he didn't just didn't have his yeah. head wrapped around the service dogs issue and yeah. so. we don't have any drugs I mean any dogs here now right yeah 
babe girl. Yeah, you're such a sweetheart. But what we should have is on the table programs with Olympic thinker prescriptions and testing so the Supreme Court justices start. They prove, yeah, I take a little Adderall to keep awake and do this case. And here's my prescription and I'm okay. And it works its way down. And now the attorneys, they're snorting some cocaine to stay awake to do these five cases that are billing at $500 an hour. They want to be at their most alert. And they see their doctor and they're, they're still in good health. And then it trickles down. And eventually, then the poor vet, he can uh, snort a line of cocaine on Saturday instead of having that extra vodka or whatever it is. Listen to you. Yeah. All right, hon. God willing. We'll see you later. I need to run. Okay. I know you're trying to protect the committee, but for me, that's the best reason to start with. Thank you, dear. You're welcome, dear. May God accept our efforts. Good. Able to lead us to mobility access for everyone. We owe a prayer, Mecca. Good. Hi. Hi. Bright yellow pants like Easter. Good, Mecca. There's an open cab door. Good, Mecca. See, it says all visitors. Capital tours, official business and appointments, House and Senate galleries. It's like a decoy to get everybody to go in the underground visitor center instead of into the office buildings. Good. We gotta pray, Mecca. Gotta pray. Come on. As long as we're all smart enough to take off a shoe, we can all walk on the grass without killing it or us. You gonna hunt the squirrel, Mecca? Did I hear this thing go off? Good. Five fifty-five. Three minutes. Fifty-four minutes. Okay, that's good. Stay, Mecca.
Okay, that's charged. There's my neck. Good. Ah, oh, wait a minute. This is this one is rolling here. Good. Fifty one minutes.